This video tape could use this for a 3D modeling system called Teddy. Teddy is a sketching interface for designing freeform models such as stuffed animals. The user draws 2D freeform strokes interactively and the system constructs a 3D shape automatically. This demonstration is running as a Java applet on a standard PC. I will introduce the modeling operations one by one. When you draw a close stroke on the blank canvas, the system constructs a 3D model by inflating the closed region. The algorithm is designed for the construction of round models and it creates various naturally looking shapes. This is a snake. Our algorithm makes wide area flat and narrow area thin. This is a dinosaur. This kind of modeling required many operations in previous systems. This is a snail. We use real-time pen and ink rendering to encourage creative exploration. You can draw lines on the object surface by drawing a stroke within the object. Camera position changes when you hold a button on the stylus. Scribbling gesture on top of a surface line erases it. Extrusion is a two-stroke operation. You first draw a closed stroke on the surface and then draw an extruding stroke. This is basically a sweep operation. With it, you can create various shapes like this long extrusion. This is useful to create an arm or a leg. Or this fat extrusion. This is useful to create a head. And this thin plate-like extrusion. This is useful to create a wing or a fin. You can also dig a hole using the same operation. The resulting model is always topologically equivalent to a sphere. You can cut the object by drawing a stroke that crosses the object. With the same operation, you can also take a bite out of the object. This is useful to create a mouth. Cutting stroke makes the cut section red, and you can extrude the section by drawing an extruding stroke. If you want to remove unnecessary bumps, draw a close stroke around it, and scribble. Then the system constructs a new smooth surface. This operation can be used to remove a crease to smoothly merge the extruded surfaces. When you want to bend the model, press the bend button to start the bending operation and draw a reference stroke and then a target stroke. The system modifies the shape of the model based on your strokes. You can use this to deform your model in many different ways. We have started a user study of our sketching interface. We first give a brief tutorial and ask subjects to construct 3D models looking at some stuffed animals. As you can see, we found that even a child can enjoy 3D modeling with Teddy. She constructed this elephant after 10 minutes of tutorial and practice. Finally, I will show some example 3D models. They were created using Teddy by an expert and painted with a commercial texture map editor. Note that these models look quite different from typical 3D models because of the hand-drawn nature of the shape. This is the end. Thank you.